Hello everyone and welcome to a packing week post Halloween launch. The Halloween launch, honestly, you guys surpassed my wildest dreams. I thought the fall launch did really well. The Halloween launch did even better than the fall launch. So the fall launch, when that happened, was the best launch I ever had in the whole 12 years since I've had my business. But then the Halloween launch came around and was like, I think I can beat that. And it com the Halloween launch became the best launch I've ever had. I am still trying to come to terms with it and comprehend just how well it did. We got over 300 orders in less than 24 hours. It was wild. It went so amazingly well. Thank you guys so much for your support for this launch. I've been working the past two days. It's currently Wednesday right now. I've been working the past two days super hard around the clock to try to get as many orders out as possible. And today I wanted to bring you guys along with me for a super busy day packing Halloween launch orders. And so you can come along with me to see what it's like here in the Emily Cromwell Design Studio in the post-launch craziness. I will be having some help today. My mom is gonna be in the studio for a while helping to pack orders, pull bookmarks, Mark, so that is going to be very helpful to have a second pair of hands around the studio today. I mean, it's a lot to keep up with this one person, but when I have another person helping, it makes things go a bit faster, which is nice. So today, really, we are just getting magnetic bookmarks ready. We are making planner sticker sheets, and then we are really just spending the whole day pulling products, packing hundreds of orders. So that's what we're doing today. Good morning. Both sleeves are all checked and ready to go. And we've got even more coming. Oh, to <gasps> Toby! How are you carrying both him and the book sleeve? Hi, little man. Hi. He's our mascot. How you doing? <laughs> Say good morning, everybody. Hey, sweet man. <laughs> you want to come to work today? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, as long as I can sleep. So we are having a book sleeve restock tonight. We have the Apple Cider Days print and we also have the Fall Bernard. And then we have a few Halloween ones that are currently being sewn and I should be getting those super soon. Okay, so mom is working on getting the magnetic bookmarks packaged for me. I am finishing up getting the planner sticker sheets cut and I am moving on to gonna be pulling products from the inventory shelves. So we gotta get notepads, washi stands, acrylic bernards, notebooks, all that fun stuff. Products pulled and now it's time to start packing orders.
One of the things that I'm doing, sometimes I like to like change up my packaging a little bit just to keep things new and interesting is so, I mean, by now with all the videos that I've posted, you know that this is my tissue paper that I designed that I use like in boxes and everything for packing orders. So I decided that I think I wanna switch up and take out the aqua blue and I'm actually gonna do like a purple. And I'm thinking I'm gonna do this pink a little bit lighter of a pink. I think that's what the proof was. And then so it'll be like the whole thing will be pink, the white outlines, and then it'll be purple where the blue is. So I'm very excited about it. Okay, so I got a good bit of orders packed. So now I need to head over to the bookmark corner and the sticker corner. And I feel like I'm gonna be there for a while. We have a big stack to work on today. The bookmarks for the Halloween launch and the stickers ended up being very well loved. So I was very excited about that. So I am going to work on getting those pulled next. I had somebody on TikTok the other day ask me, I was showing my bookmark organization system or whatever I was doing. I'm not sure what I was doing. Anyways, I they had asked me, they're like, but how long does it take you to find a bookmark for an order? And like, I have over 200 bookmarks designs and you would think by looking at my organization system that it would take me a really long time to find them but like if you ask me any bookmark in my shop if I can pull it from the bin I know exactly where it is like my brain is organized like the bookmark organizers and I can be like okay this one's there this one's here this is here this is here this is here even the stickers like we should do that sometime like someone just like rapid fire ask me where they are I'll be like bam 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 <laughs> And if you haven't seen it yet, this is my bookmark corner and these are all of my bookmark organizers. Like I said, there is a lot. I'll get Toby hairs sometimes in my bookmarks. So I have mom in the studio. <laughs> I don't find that funny. In the studio today helping and I'm laminating. There's a mom hair in the bookmark. Oh wow. <laughs> oh, oh, this oh, one's yours. Here you go. Thanks. <laughs> So I took a little bit of a lunch break, but I am back and my laminator turned off as always. So while that is warming up, I am going to pack some more orders. ended up slipping away from me today and it is 4 p.m. Um, apparently again I was a bit enthusiastic with how many orders I thought I could get done today because they're not all done. <laughs> I didn't really want to have a night where I'm down here all night because um, I have some freelance projects I have to work on and this is gonna sound crazy because I'm doing the Halloween launch like packing orders right now but I'm planning and drawing for my holiday launch. I do an advent calendar every year called the Very Merry 12 Days of Bookmas Advent Calendar Box where it's like 12 packages of bookish things that I design and I'm in the planning stages for that so I'm going to try to pack a few more orders because with how many orders I have done it's going to take me probably half an hour or more just to like buy the labels put the labels on so that's another hour to account for and then I have a book sleep restock tonight so I have to make sure I don't miss that and yeah 
it, there is always something going on over here i swear like there is always something i'm feeling like i should probably move these to my desk in increments before it falls over because it's super tall at the moment okay here we go i don't even know how heavy these are Okay, so a subscriber of our channel, Amber, asked if we could pack her order on one of our next YouTube videos. So, I got out the pink cauldron, and we're gonna pack your order in the pink cauldron today. So, Amber, here's your order. to take these packages upstairs, have some dinner for a little bit, watch The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills because I'm obsessed with that show, guys. I've just been binge watching it like nonstop, but anyways. Uh, then the book sleeve restock is at 7 p.m. tonight, and tonight's actually Wednesday when I'm filming this, so a new YouTube video is going up tonight, but it's last week's when you guys are seeing this, so. So tonight is that at 6 and then book sleeve restock at 7. So this book sleeve restock is the apple cider days pattern as well as the fall bunard. And then the next restock is, I'm going to have like I think one or two more restocks in October. So we're going to have a lot of book sleeves coming up very very soon. It'll be Halloween designs. So it'll be like the Halloween candy pattern that I showed you. The pumpkin library is coming back. The pumpkin bookshop, the Halloween one. That's being done. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get to the ghouls just want to read books sleeve, unfortunately. Uh, sometimes that happens where the de all the designs that I buy can't all be done in time. And I mean, that's ha that happens. It's fine. So I don't know. That one might have to wait till next year. I'm not sure because November I did a poll and a lot of people were saying they mostly wanted like winter designs in November for book sleeves. So obviously I'm not going to do that in November because it's Halloween too. So we'll see but book sleeve restock is at seven tonight so i'm gonna be bringing you guys along with me to see how that goes okay so the book sleeve restock is about eight minutes away at this point there are already some people on the site waiting so we're gonna see how this goes i hope it goes well we have 43 people waiting and we are three minutes out so here we go <laughs> sometimes i've been noticing that the site even though I have it scheduled for like right now seven, sometimes the launches they're up like 30 seconds in advance or even one time, I think it was like a minute. I was like, what is going on? Why is it up too early? <laughs> okay, two minutes out, 30 seconds. I always get so nervous before launches and I'm not the one buying anything. I'm just, I get so nervous. 15 seconds. <laughs> All right, here we go. Five seconds. All right, it is seven. Got a lot of people on the site, so that's good. I know everybody's been waiting for the pumpkin library, so I'm glad people are excited for this too. <laughs> Yay! Thank you. We just have four orders come in at one time. Five. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. 
So the book sleeve launch went super well. I'm so happy that I'm now able to have more book sleeves per restocks now so that more and more people can get them. So I'm really glad about that. And I think it was a good decision to bring on extra seamstresses to hopefully going forward being able to have more book sleeves so that more and more people are happy. So everything worked out good. I'm very happy. Okay guys, that brings us to the end of this video. This was a whirlwind of a day. I feel like we've just done so much today. I am so tired. I'm ready to just hibernate, but we're gonna be back at it tomorrow. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you ordered anything for my Halloween launch, thank you so much for your order. I really appreciate it. Every single one of you helped to make this launch the best one I ever had. So thank you guys so much. I feel your support. I feel your love and I'm so grateful and I hope you can feel that as well. So that's it for me and I will be seeing you guys in my next video. And until then, I hope you guys are reading some amazing books and I will see you then. Bye. <laughs>